Hi my friend, nice to see you again, I'm Oliver. Let's unbox one x vector from uh, XDRC. It is same like that, but different color. This is the orange x vector 945. We will open and test. Okay, here, customer peppers. Let's take out one by one. This one is the radio. Okay. A bucket. And another one, flat bucket. What is here? Syringe for filling up hydraulic oil. Here's a handrail, track, o-ring, screws. Let me see. Okay, that's all. So now we are trying to lift this up. Uh huh. It's very heavy. Okay, it's empty box now. Reveal the veil. Cut this protection. Okay, leave this, so this cylinder we have to connect from here. That we will connect all the cylinder and the handrail, the screws, decorations, and the put hydraulic we will test. So for putting this cylinder secured, you have to move, pull it out. Now no have hydraulic oil, but you open the valve, you can pull it out. So like this, you can put it the pin and the screw, okay? Open the well, put a little more, good. Not damage the paint. Let's align it, and then put the pin. Good, then put the screw, okay. So here, on this cover, you take it out. There is the filling up port for hydraulic oil. So, unscrew this, you will see, take it out. So, you fill up oil from here. So this one maybe around 70, 80 minimum liter should be enough. After you start, if you see the movement of the arm getting stuck, maybe oil not enough, you fill up a little again. Let's start to see. So we already put the cylinder connected and put bucket and the handrail. Hydraulic oil filled up. Let's start it. Let's turn it around so you can see. Okay, here got the light. Another one, so all switched on. So from the big boom also have, this side also have, and that side also have light, but this one not assembled with sound system yet, but if you like, we can add the sound system for you. So here is the spinning. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So here it is slow spinning. So if you put this switch down, will be quick spinning. Now spinning more fast. Okay. This one is slow spinning. Okay. So these two switch is for driving backward and spinning. Spinning this side. Okay, hydraulic, we will start. Yeah, here, let's go big arm up. Let's first see the most up position. Okay, that's the top position. Let's dig in. Okay, that's the hydraulic moving. So now we will see a little bit about the details. I already removed some screws. Yeah, one more thing is the bucket. Let's lift up so you can see more clearly. Here, you see this one. If you pull it, the bucket will be removed and hook in. Pull down, will be locked. Okay, let's change this one. Okay, actually when you put in, you, you don't have to pull it out, just push, it will be locked. Only when you take out, you pull it. Okay, it is locked. Let's put it down a little bit up. Then we will come to see the details. Let's see first the outer look. We got the, okay, this light we are not turning it on. This one you can push this button and change different mode, the warning light. And after you open the, this cover, you will see here is the battery chamber. And from this point, you will see the hydraulic. If you start the hydraulic, it is around three to four bar. You see it's turning. Okay, around almost to four bar. So the pressure, it is high enough to operate this arm and bucket. I already screw this Two screws already removed, and also this side have three screws. Under there, we have three big screws already removed too. So I will remove one more. We'll be able to take out the rear part. Then we can see what is inside of this actuator. The reason I have to remove the screw, you see the cover from the side cannot be open. So we have to open it to show you. Okay, screw out, hold, don't drop it. The rear side weight block, you just pull it out after remove the three screws from the bottom. Okay, so after this, this one you can slowly pull it out. So three screw from here, two screw from this side, then you can remove this cover. Slowly don't scratch the paint from the side. Okay. After pull, you can pull it down. So actually here it is the plug for the warning light. You can take it out so you can remove it. Okay. So this one now we can remove. That's the cover for, from the body. Like this, we can see clearly what is inside there. So here are three distribution valve and this servo. The valve is under there. From this angle, you will see. Also, I will turn it around later, you can see more. So the battery here, also this cover can be taken out. Too, too much trouble, so you already can see we will not remove it now. So here is the pressure gauge connected to the discharge line from the distribution valve. From this side, you will see here as a pump, the motor. So three wires, it is all brushless. The pump suction, this oil tank, this is the block, so the oil go under there. 
and here you see this one is the return line to the oil tank. This side is the discharge. No, this is the discharge one to the well block. This one is the return line to the oil tank. Okay, so I will turn it around so you will see more. So from this angle, you will see the distribution block, well block. So three and got six in and late, in and out late, the oil hose. So from this angle, oil tank, you will see here the oil level. This is the return line. This is the oil level. It is almost here, more than half. Here is the receiver and uh, the wires connections or junctions from downside. So the EST is there with this on this plate. So got how many EST? So two for the driver motor, uh, rear side two driver motor, one for the pump, one for the spinning. Okay, so here is the brushless spinning motor. So there, on there is the reduced gearbox and the connect to the big gear for spinning. This is the slipper ring. So the upper part containing all around without tangling the wires. Okay, what is more from the inside? And so the oil holes all go from here to upper part of the big boom. So leading to the small arm and the bucket and the Two, four holes, one block, go from under there, so can under there, coming out to the big boom cylinder. So big boom have two cylinders, so coming out four holes, in and out. So let's see the, the arm, the front arm, this leading here, the oil cylinder, and for the bucket, under these two, coming to the bucket. What is more to see from here is the cabin. We will open it. The cabin door can be pulled and open from here. So you can see inside. So the screen is the only one LED light, no more showing any data. Only light up. Close it. So let's see the cabin, it is metal. All this inside is also metal. So this cover, this upper part cover, it is all metal. So what is plastic is the hose and this windshield. Other part, all metal. Okay, so that's all for this one. What we can see more is the track. Yeah, here are some tab from the table. This ladder are stainless steel. The track also stainless steel. Uh, there are some grease on the wheel I need to clean. The grease coming out from inside so for the lubricating the, the wheel turning. Yeah? There's some grease you see a little bit dirt. That's grease. So here are the sprocket driving, the driving wheel. The motor inside also brushless. Under there I pull you will see the road wheel. Top the return roller. Okay, if I turn more you will see the chassis. Very strong metal, very thick. And uh, this cover you open, you will see the wires inside from the slipper ring connecting to the motor for driving. Okay, let's put it down. So that's pretty much what we can see. Now we will put back the cover. So before put back, let's connect the light for the warning light wires. So the, the yellow one connecting, corresponding to white one, signal wire. Middle one, don't, don't get it wrong. So already light up, put the wires down. We slowly put it back. Hold the wires inside. We put back and not touching the paint. Okay, so later we will put the side screws and secure it. This one we will put back also later, the other screws. 
Thank you very much. This is the X waiter from XDRC945. And uh, for what other colors we got, this is orange. We have blue, yellow. Also other painting, if you like, also can be painted as you required. We can repaint it from factory. And for sound system, we can add it for you. And uh, if you like more light, we can get it done for you. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye-bye.